we must fix our budget priorities. We see that public health is not given the priority that it deserves. Dismayado sa Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drilon dahil hindi anya akma sa realidad ang panukalang pondo ng Executive Department para sa susunod na taon. Sa briefing ng Development Budget Coordination Committee sa Komite sa Senado, pinuna ni Drilon kung bakit walang nakalaang pondo para sa Special Risk Allowance at Hazard Pay, pati na ang ayuda. Habang ang pondo para sa National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict to NTFL-CAC, pinaglaanan ng 28 billion pesos. Ipinunto rin ni Drilon kung bakit nasa unprogrammed funds lang ang 45 billion pesos na pondo para sa pagbili ng COVID-19 vaccine booster shots. Ibig sabihin, mapopondohan lamang ito kung may sobrang kita ang gobyerno o di naman kaya'y ipangungutang ito. Are we saying that insurgency has become a bigger, more dangerous threat than COVID-19 and its fast mutating variants? Marami pong pangkukunan ng budget itong kampanya laban sa insurgency. Hindi po kailangan maghiwalay pa tayo ng 28 billion in the face of all these difficulties that we are facing and in the face of the fact that our health personnel are not being given the special risk allowance. Ayon kay Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez, siya pangaraw ang nagsulong na mailagay ang booster shots bilang item sa panukalang 2022 budget. Hindi raw ito nilagakan ng regular funds dahil ayon umano sa panel of experts at health authorities, hindi pa tiyak na kakailanganin ang booster shots. I I had a big argument with them, okay? And the fact, the result is that it is actually in the budget. Had we not argued with that, we would not even be in the budget. Because they said it is not, uh, it is not yet proven, it's not yet approved formally, etc. I said I don't care. I just want to make sure that we have uh, an item in the budget that we can activate if and when uh, the health authorities decide that it is required. Nanindigan naman ng Department of Budget and Management na mahalagang mapondohan ng NTF-LCAC pero ipauubayan na anya nila ang desisyon sa Kongreso. It will actually provide development funds for barangays which have been recently freed from uh, the insurgency or leftist elements. If we don't do that, if government will not intervene, then who will? And that's the reason why we also assert that the NTF-LCAC is important. However, we defer to the wisdom of uh, the Senate and Congress if they find that these reasons are not uh, sufficient. Pero si Senator Kiko Pangilinan naniniwalang dapat ayusin ang budget para makatugon sa banta na dala ng Delta variant. Si Senator Risa Honteveros ipinababalik sa Malacanang ang panukalang pondo. Aniya hindi katanggap-tanggap na walang nakalaan para sa health workers na nangunguna sa laban ng bansa kontra COVID-19. Para kay Senator Joel Villanueva, dapat magsumite ang Executive Department ng Budget Erata para mapaglaanan ang kinakailangang halaga ang benepisyo para sa medical frontliners. Ayon sa Senador, tinatayang nasa 23 billion pesos ang kailangan para doblehin ang Special Risk Allowance at Active Hazard Duty Pay ng nasa 120,000 health workers sa mga pribado at pampublikong ospital. Wala pang tugon ng palasyo tungkol dito. Horlin Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahahalagahan.